the topic of discussion in this part is mobile registration mobile registration is an event this mobile registration is an event that is the detection of a subscriber in a new serving system just you see this figure this figure has so many cells and this is location area 1 and this is location area 2 when a mobile user or mobile station is moving from one place to another place within the location area 1 or it is moving from location area 1 to location area 2 so while you see that this location area 2 will be the new serving area or new serving system so that time registration is required when do you perform the registration the registration to be performed or the registration functions needed to be performed before the network can provide service to the subscriber so as it is moving from this location to another location area now this location area has to provide the service before providing the service to the mobile station the mobile station has to be registered so this is the time to register but the emergency services like 911 999 112 these are all the exemption so this you know that this emergency service service numbers that will vary from country to country so this mobile registration is a subset of automatic roaming function which consists of mobile station service and mobile location management there are two functions which allows allow the subscriber to register with network the first one is the entity location entity location another one is the status of the mobile station so as a conclusion of this slide so mobile registration to be performed before the network can provide the service okay last slide we have seen about the mobile registration the definition of mobile registration here you see that there are so many cells are here a mobile station which is moving from this location to this location moving from one place to another place so now mobile registration is required so mobile registration is a process this process is initiated by the mobile station so this mobile station sent a request that is a registration request to the base station so base station receives that request from the mobile station and it constructs a message called registration update request message after constructing this message it sends that request to the mobile switching center the mobile switching center once it receives the message from the base station it response to that registration update request message so what will be the response the response is registration update response so this is the response so this response is a registration update response is created by mobile switching center after receiving the registration update request message from the base station so this response message that is the registration update response message that will 
reach the way station which carries three types of results the first one is the that carries three types of results the first one is the successful registration the second one is the unsuccessful registration and another one is the cancellation registration so three results will be that may be that may carry that this will carry three types of results according to the process this this response will carry three types of results the first may be the successful registration second may be the unsuccessful registration and third may be the cancellation of registration and any one of the result so based on that process one result will be updated that result will be given to the mobile station so these are all the important key steps are the process in the mobile registration in this slide we have given the points what we have discussed in the last slide now we will see the call flows for mobile station registration that is the detailed steps involved in call flows now you see this figure this has three location areas one is location area 1 another one is location area 2 another one is location area 3 the location area 1 that has one mobile user that mobile station is moving from location area 1 to location area 3 as it reached the location area 3 that is the new area before providing the service network service to this mobile user or mobile station this mobile station has to register for that it is ready that means the first step is mobile user determines that it must register with the system this system this register with the system so the GSM network or the base station base station in this location area will verify the identity of the mobile user to avoid the fraudulent use so for that one challenge program is there the name is challenge response scheme so the challenge response scheme is initiated by the base station the base station 128 bit random number to the mobile user 128 bit random number to the mobile station or this mobile user the mobile station determines to register in this gsm so it has to meet the challenge response scheme the challenge response scheme is used to identify the identity of the mobile user to avoid the fraudulent use okay the next uh, after receiving the 128 bit random number from the base station the mobile user construct a signed the mobile user construct a signed response just you see that this will construct a signed response the signed response and it transfer the signed, signed response to the base station what are all the informations available in the signed response? The signed response carries the encryption of the random number which was sent by the base station and authentication algorithm and subscriber authentication key. So the three informations are available in the signed response. Now the signed response has been received by the base station that has been received by the base station. So after receiving the signed response, the base station repeats the calculation, repeats the calculation. This base station received the signed response from the mobile user that was based on this encryption of the random number which was sent by the base station and authentication algorithm and subscriber authentication key. So the base station verify or repeats the calculation 
and verify the identity of the subscriber now the base station got the satisfaction which means that it has verified the identity of the mobile user it is okay it is okay in the first step the mobile station determines to register in the second step mobile station proved its identity through the challenge response scheme so as a result that the mobile station has sent a signed response and that was verified by the base station the base station verified the identity of the mobile station in the third step of the mobile registration in the third step of the mobile registration after proving its identity the mobile station sends a request message to the base station that request message carries some information that is what first one is the international mobile subscriber identity and another one is the random number and, and, and some other parameters what all required so in these parameters so i am si that is international mobile subscriber identity you know that that is the 15 digit number that has mobile country code that has mobile country code and mobile network code and mobile subscriber identity number mobile subscriber identification number so this request message is received by the base station from the mobile station and now this base station verify or the validate validate the request now it is validating now this is validating this base station validates it validate the request message sent by the mobile user after validating if it is okay then this base station send a request after validating the random number the base station sends a register message sends a register message rm sends a register message rm to the msc of that location area mobile switching center of the location area now it is sending so the msc receives the that is a register message from the b station and it will verify that a registration message if that uh, mobile station is not currently registered to the serving vlr which is what one is the serving vlr this one is the serving vlr that is the visitor location register previously this mobile station was in location area 1 and it is moved from location area 1 to location area 3 so far it is not registered so the information are not available in the local or this is serving visiting location register so the visitor location register will send a registration notification this vlr will send the registration notification message to the users users means this mobile station users hlr what is its users hlr the users hlr the user was already in location area 1 so it got the sim from location area 1 so that means that circle that circle from that circle it has got the sim so that all the datas of the users are registered in the home location register so it now this vlr visitor location register sent a registration notification message to the vlr hlr of the users home location register so this is the registration notification message this notification message is sent to the users this is sent to the this is sent to the users hlr this is the user hlr how it becomes the users hlr because the mobile station was previously in the location area 1 it has got the sim from location area 1 so the details are stored in the home location register so this is the permanent register this home location register is the permanent data register okay 
Now, this home location register receives the registration notification message from the visitor location that is the serving visitor location register. Then it sends the message it sends the message to the old vlr already this home location register having the data of this mobile user here also one vlr is there that is the old vlr that is the old vlr now home location register update its database here also one vlr is there after receiving the registration notification from the visitors location register that is the serving visitors location this is the serving visitors location register after receiving the notification from this PLR this HLR update its database update its database and update after updating the database this HLR sends a cancel message this hlr will send a cancel message to the old vlr because this old vlr carries the informations are about the mobile station this mobile station so this cancel message once it reaches the old vlr so this old vlr cancels the previous registration or old registration of the mobile user after canceling canceling it after canceling the old registration by the old vlr this vlr returns the confirmation message that vlr returns the confirmation message that means i have cleared the detail of the mobile station previous detail of the mobile station that confirmation message will be sent to the hlr will be hlr okay that detail will be sent to the hlr once the hlr receives the cancellation confirmation message this hlr returns or send the registration notification response message to the new VL. After receiving the cancellation message from the old VLR, the HLR responds to the old, the HLR responds to the serving VLR already the serving vlr send a request message to the hlr for that it is now responding so the response to registration notification message will be from hlr to serving vlr this response to registration notification message carries some more parameters some more informations what are all the other informations? Inter exchange carrier ID, shared secret key for authentication, current value of the channel count. After receiving all this information by the serving VLR, the serving VLR assign a new identity number that is called temporary mobile subscriber identity number. What is the new identity number? Temporary mobile subscriber identity number that VLR assigns, this new VLR assigns. So the MSC, that is the mobile switching center, uh, receives this message and retrieves the data and retrieves the data. And it passes that information to the base station and passes that information to the base station. If that registration is failure means that will carry the failure information if it is successful means that successful in for registration successful information is passed to the base station and it is sent to the mobile station along with the temporary mobile subscriber identity so now the mobile station is registered it got the registration so these are all the 
detailed steps for mobile registration so dear friends we have discussed step by step registration process of mobile station okay thank you this slide explains the details what we discussed in the previous mobile registration process here we explain we try to explain using the timeline diagram the first step is in mobile registration process the first step is mobile station determines for registration this is the first step the second step the mobile station has to prove its identity so it has to meet the global challenge from the base station after proving its identity the as a step 3 after proving its identity through the global challenge scheme the mobile station send their registration request to the base station now the base station received receives the registration request from the mobile station after receiving it the base station validate the registration request which means that that random number will be validated so this is the step 4 this is the step 4 so after validating it it is okay means then the base station send a sends a registrar message to the mobile new mobile switching center along with the vlr that is the step 6 after validating it the base station sends a yeah, mobile register that is this uh, send a register message to the mobile switching center the mobile switching center receives this message and it will verify the message and it will verify the message if that mobile station is not currently registered with this vlr not currently registered the serving vlr this vlr sent a registration notification message this will send a, this vlr send a registration notification message to the hlr of the user that is the user hlr which means that we have seen in the earlier slides so this hlr is the location area 1 hlr from this hlr or from this circle the mobile user got the sim the mobile user got the sim so the data are all stored in this hlr so to verify that this serving vlr send a registration notification message to the user hlr users hlr that is the step number 6 then after receiving the registration notification message from the vlr that is serving vlr the hlr verify it the hlr verifies the information and updates its database and updates that after receiving this information this hlr will update its database and after that it will send a cancellation message after that it will send it which one this hlr this users hlr will send a cancellation message to the old vlr that is step number 8 that is the step number as a step number 8 this hlr send the registration cancellation message to the old vlr this old vlr cancel all the previous information that cancelled the message in the registrations of this mobile station cancelled the information of this mobile station and sent a confirmation and sends the confirmation message or sent a message back to the hlr home location hlr that is users home location this is the step number 9 after receiving this confirmation message cancellation confirmation message this hlr will response to the 
that is the response to this registration notification message to the new vlr that is the serving vlr so registration notification response this is the registration notification and this hlr is again giving the response to the registration notification to the serving vlr this this registration notification that carries some information additional informations which are all are required or needed by the vlr what are all the information that we have seen earlier the first one is the inter exchange carrier id and shared secret key for authentication and current value of channel count these are all the additional information carried by the registration notification response after receiving this information this vlr assign a temporary mobile identification number that will that will assign the temporary mobile identification number to the mobile station and send the register message to the base station if it is a successful register message or it is the failure message even if it is a failure message that message will reach the base station the successful message means the successful message will reach the base station the base station passes that information registration once it is a successful information that sends the confirmation registration confirmation message to the mobile station now this mobile station got registered in the location area 3 or in this new circle so previously it was in its location area 1 and it, it is moved from location area 1 to location area 3 as per our previous diagrams and uh, now it is registered in the new circle that is the location area 3 these are all the 12 steps simple steps involved in the mobile registration of GSM network.